In my last couple of videos I showed my door build that had a simple grate to allow air in and which led to a ferocious burn. In this video I want to build an adjustable grate which has a grill on it exactly the same as the first one which fits over the door and slides so that I can adjust it. I built it in exactly the same way as I did the grill inside the door. There's not much room to fit a rail for it to slide on, so I decided to design some bushes that would allow the grill to sit behind it and be held in place. I made these by putting some hexagonal nuts on a bolt in a drill and filing them round. Finishing up with some ceramic abrasive. I positioned these to know where to drill the holes to mount them. And then drilled the mounting holes. Which I threaded to take short bolts. Here's how the arrangement will work. and it looks quite handsome once fitted to the burner. Well I've now fitted a grill to the door of the burner. Um, in one position it's fully open, in the other position it's fully closed, and in between I can regulate the amount of air. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. Now unfortunately I've had a bit of a disaster since last time. This has been out in the rain for a couple of weeks and when I went to move it today um, I managed to split it into two. So I've basically got a rupture that goes the entire length of the burn chamber. I'm going to try and burn it anyway. I've obviously got to make another one but I'm going to have a go and just do a burn to test out my airflow. I used waste construction lumber again, and this time I weighed my starting and finishing materials to work out how much fuel I burnt. I started with a small fire towards the back of the burn chamber so the heat riser would get heated up quickly. That first load was three kilograms. For the first three minutes or so there was a bit of light smoke. But by four minutes there was no smoke at all, only a heat haze. After just five minutes there was already quite impressive double vortices in the bottom of the burn chamber. I filmed these at various stages throughout the burn and we'll just show you a few here. This one I particularly like at 20 minutes they were very strong.
After half an hour I shut the air off completely and I couldn't actually see much difference inside the burn chamber. And there was still fairly good turbulence at the bottom of the heat riser. I suspect the crack and the gaps around the door frame are letting in so much air that the adjustment doesn't make any difference. While watching the flames, even opening and closing the air didn't really seem to make much difference at all. The vapours you can see to the left are just steam coming off the burn chamber where it got wet. This is after a new load of wood and it's now been burning about 15 minutes. Before long the flames were shooting out the top of the heat riser like I saw on my last burn. You'll notice cracks in the heat riser pieces. These are partly to do with small cracks that happened when I demolded and the fact that I have to move it each time I burn it and they're very fragile. The heat may have contributed a little bit but I'm confident they wouldn't suffer in the heat if they were cemented in place. How much for this one? Do you want this one? No, thank you. My tongue is still burnt. My tongue. Well, you've got to cool the outside quickly first. Burnt enough? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Wait for it to cool because you can burn your tongue. Chew it like I chewed mine, where it's always crispy. Feel the crunch? Mm. You'd, you'd feel weird just doing that on top of the hub, wouldn't you? Over a couple of hours I loaded about 15 kilograms of wood in total. There's still a lot of heat coming off even when it's just charcoal. After two and a half hours I decided to give the burner a rest and didn't load any more wood. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's a few more minutes left to watch which I'll just let you enjoy. Fuck me. This is a repeat of the earlier footage so you can enjoy some fire before we leave. If you're following these videos I hope you won't be disheartened by the cracks. I'll be continuing my experiments 
and we're not going to let a few gentle pracks get in the way of some rocketry adventures. So please join soon, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you. Bye-bye.